75,000 years ago on the Indonesian island of Sumatra, the supervolcano Toba erupts, sending the entire planet into climatic chaos. It unleashes a volcanic winter that may have pushed the planet into a thousand-year ice age and brought human beings to the brink of extinction. But could this type of mega disaster happen today? Is there another sleeping giant out there waiting to erupt and wreak havoc? And could our modern world and race survive? You can't stop volcanoes. Disasters of that scale are beyond uh, human control. What could we do to prevent another uh, volcanic winter? Well, nothing. I mean, you really can't. Nature has a way of doing what it wants, and really, the humans just have to adapt to what nature throws at them. Today, the site where Toba erupted is showing signs of increased volatility. Workers are keeping a watchful eye on the seismic activity in the area. In the last million years, Toba has erupted four times. Could it erupt again? We believe there is magma still beneath Lake Toba. There are small volcanoes inside the Toba caldera, and there are hot springs in there. For the time being, Toba does not seem to be an imminent threat. But elsewhere around the globe, super volcanoes are growing. From Italy to Japan to New Zealand, they erupted in prehistoric times, and they will erupt again. When that happens, they will trigger disasters that could cripple modern society. If an eruption the size of, of Toba erupted today or tomorrow anywhere in the world, there's nothing you can do. Most people would die. Uh, it's hard to imagine people that would survive. If you had a fallout shelter with 10 years worth of food and enough weapons to keep all the other hungry people out, you could probably live if, they, if you call that living. What most people don't realize is that some of the largest supervolcanoes in the world are actually forming in our very own backyard. There are regions in the western U.S. that have the potential for mega eruptions. In California, the Long Valley Caldera sits just next to Mammoth Mountain, a popular ski resort. When Long Valley erupted 750,000 years ago, its ash covered everything as far south as Texas and as far east as Nebraska. In northern New Mexico, the Valles Caldera erupted more than one million years ago and devastated the land as far east as Iowa. But the most notable and active supervolcano is actually one of America's favorite family destinations, Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming. The entire park is a gigantic caldera with boiling magma pulsing just beneath visitors' feet. The magma that forms the supervolcano in Yellowstone is actually what heats the geysers and the mud pools and the other natural formations you see. Scientists believe that an eruption at Yellowstone and its aftermath would be comparable to Toba. Well, the interesting aspect about Yellowstone is that when it erupts, it looks like it erupts big, real big. A Yellowstone has had two super volcano eruptions in the past few million years. In fact, it seems that Yellowstone is on a 600,000 year cycle. The last time Yellowstone erupted, 650,000 years ago. What would happen to modern society if one of these super volcanoes in the western United States erupted? If the same amount of ash from the Toba eruption were to, say, erupt from Yellowstone, that would cover the continental United States in about four inches of ash. Imagine the effects that that would have. It would just be horrible. Just as with Toba, the area closest to the super eruption would face the most immediate devastation. Although Wyoming is a relatively rural state, there are urban centers like Las Vegas within striking distance. If a super volcano were to erupt in the western United States, the odds of surviving in Las Vegas would really be against you. Massive amounts of ash would be only the first obstacle to overcome. 
Las Vegas would be under inches of this really, really thick ash, and it's heavy. So it can collapse roofs, it can bury animals, it can bury people, it can bury cars. As the ash spreads across the country, the air would be too toxic to breathe. People would be forced to wear protective masks over their eyes and mouths. Crops would fail, and water sources would become polluted. Car engines would clog, and any plane flying would come hurtling to the ground as the engines stopped working. Jets can't handle that volcanic glass. It causes the engines to flame out, especially the bigger jets, the 747s. But the ash fall would be just the beginning. As we saw with Toba, while the ash settles, the destructive sulfur gases would be making their way into the stratosphere and circling the rest of the world. It wouldn't just be a case of, oh, poor old America suffers, the world would suffer. The devastation of a natural disaster, like a hurricane or a tsunami or an earthquake, can be dealt with because even though the people there are shocked, we can bring in food from other places in the world. We can bring in medical supplies. If a supervolcano erupted today, there wouldn't be anybody from any place else that would come help us, like in these smaller scale disasters. It would affect everybody in the world. Scientists agree it's not a question of if another supervolcano will erupt, it's a question of when. There's really no way to prepare for the eruption of a supervolcano. They're just so massive that th this is not a power that we can contain with any known technology. The Earth will survive. I'm not sure that humanity would bounce back from such a tragic kind of event, such a dramatic and catastrophic kind of event. So Earth, it turns out, is fairly resilient. It's the conditions for human life that may be more at risk. Super volcanoes do not just erupt. They are catalysts for global climate change and devastation. Unlike other natural disasters that are often localized and even avoidable, a natural disaster like the one unleashed by the Toba eruption is inescapable. These volcanic winters and the consequences of such apocalyptic change may only happen once every 100,000 years. But when they occur, the planet and its inhabitants are never the same.